Leo. Well, this is all about you. This is your um, weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Hello, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Please do click subscribe and help the channel grow. And if you like this video, click like and then share the video because that's the best way to help the channel grow. All right, Leo. Yes, this is for Leo sun, moon and rising sign or wherever Leo influences your chart. You can apply these energies for the next uh, seven to 10 days. Whenever you see this video, the time is right for you. Leo, let's get into your video because it's your time. It's your moment. This is all about you. Remember, there's always a link to an extended in the description box and the comments below. Uh, the extended is a full tarot card spread that articulates and expands upon this reading. So if you choose to, please do click on over and enjoy that. And of course, it also includes a romantic prediction tarot. Oh boy. Wee's popping. Wee's popping. And Leo, I gotta say, mm, there is always enough feeling empty, crowning your energy. And then here, tend to the small things. Something has built up over a, um, a long period of time. Um, maybe that you let go too long. And this is about it becoming like overwhelming. Overwhelming, okay. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. I just got this message that it could actually be about something like feelings, something like, um, longing for somebody not feel like um like not feeling like somebody has enough feelings for you or not getting to spend enough time with somebody that you have feelings for um or not having enough feelings for somebody it's been built up over time something's been building something's rising inside of you a desire a want and now it's kind of coming up from the depths and rising out of you and but but you don't really know how to make the connection or um you don't feel like there is enough of a connection either on your side or on the other side but there is a situation or circumstance that's been growing so that's an alternative meaning but you know you take it how it resonates um, this is Piscean energy and the energy of nine that's crowning your reading. Um, Piscean energy, of course, we're in a Mercury retrograde during Pisces season, but Pisces season is Pisces season. It's a time for dreams. It's a time for getting in over your head, diving in deep into emotions, allowing yourself to be way too emotional and let the emotions wash over you. Why? Why would anybody do that? Why, you ask, Leo? Because it's freaking Pisces season and when in Pisces season, do as Pisces do. And I think that that might be a little bit of, bit, bit overwhel uh, overwhelming for you. Um, but maybe there's this issue because it's like there is never enough. Maybe you just can't get enough of something or you're feeling drained. Like there's never enough energy because there's so much emotion right now. It's making you feel drained. I don't think that this is normally, yes, you are normally passionate people, absolutely. But I, the, the, the wishy-washiness, the, the melancholy, all of these things, something's been building up, all of these things that are building up in time, draining you, pulling you down, making you feel heavy, that could be wearing on you. That It just could be exhausting for somebody who, like all fire signs, lives in the future, you know, lives thinking about, whoosh, what am I going to do next and what's coming and really believing in your vision to get lost in illusion and to almost be stuck and stagnant. Maybe there's just a discomfort here. Um, sweet results away. Now everything came out upside down. So I'm going to go, to go ahead and guess, Leo, that you are feeling a little bit drained this week. Sweet results await. You're, but this is upside down. So you're still in the middle of heavy work, heavy lifting, hard work. This is your card. This is your energy. And just like the Leo, the Leo card, the Leo energy, when I get it in reverse, it just means that your sense of self is a little bit diminished. But this is more about the technical, technical, physical aspects of yourself. So that means you might be a little bit worn, um, maybe even a little bit sick, feeling a little bit exhausted, drained. You're working a heart. Like if you look at your life right now, it's probably all work. And that's wonderful. Why? Because this is still a very beautiful card saying this is going to yield great results, Leo. Your hard work is getting you somewhere. Somewhere It just feels like it's not getting you anywhere right now. It feels like you're treading water. It feels like you're drowning. Maybe you're drowning in too much responsibility, too many things, little bits and pieces. This is Virgo energy. Once again, Mercury is in retrograde. Mercury rules 
Virgo, as everybody knows, this is an energy of all the details that Virgo usually so easily, masterfully just puts into order. All kinds of chaos, building up, too many things coming at the same time, a little bit of Virgo confusion, especially when Mercury is in retrograde, not being able to put everything in the order or not finding it as easy as it was to put things in order. So it's like little bitty things are building up and work that used to be simple for you and easy for you is starting to get burdensome and hard. Now you are still plugging away. But I feel like there is there is an emotional drain here because you're, it's almost like you're giving, you're giving, you're giving, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing, and you're not getting any satisfaction. So it's almost like running on empty. Um, here we have co-create with spirit, but it's in reverse. This is a stop phrase. This is a stop clause. This is a this is a disconnect. A feeling of yo spirit. Did are you are you still there? That feeling of just feeling like. Um, why aren't things going my way? Maybe feeling abandoned, feeling unsupported in your life in general, especially your social life or with people who mean a lot to you. Um, cause crows are extremely social creatures, but when they're upside down in reverse, it's almost like they're solitary or they've lost somebody that they really care about a lot. They could be in mourning. So if that's happening to you, Leo, I'm you have my condolences right now. Uh, no, this isn't a portent of a, a, um, a premonition of anything bad happening. This is just something that you would be going through. Feeling of a loss, maybe feeling mourning. You don't have to mourn a life necessarily. It could be mourning the loss of this passion that you had or mourning what you perceive as a loss because things aren't moving ahead and they don't seem to be gaining any kind of momentum. But that does not... That is not uncommon during a retrograde, Leo. And that is, does not mean that things are not moving ahead. In fact, what I just saw in my head is because you keep churning and burning, but things aren't going out on the conveyor belts the way that they are supposed to, it's like they're building up and it's like things are getting higher and higher and higher. Things are getting stacked up and stacked up and stacked up. It's almost like you feel like you're drowning in your own productivity and things, but things are not able to be distributed uh, to so you can get something back. So you know what you do, Leah? You chill out. Don't like literally, I know it's, you know what I think? You're not going to listen to me, but um, this is, this is a good week to, this will be a good week to, um, let yourself kick back and relax a little bit, but you really need to work right now. That's what I'm feeling. And I feel like you're working because you need, you want to feel that connection again, that you used to have to your work. You want to feel that passion. Um, you're trying to find that same old passion that you used to have, but for some reason there's a shift that's happening inside of you and you should trust it. Um, this is your central energy. It's also in reverse. The miracles are endless. It's still a very beautiful energy. I think of this as the ace of cups. In other words, there will always be enough or you are ready to have your cup filled with something new. That's what the shift is. It's like with the old stuff, it's empty, but it's ready for to try something new, interested in something new. So what I'm saying is maybe... Don't exhaust yourself on what you normally work on and instead indulge yourself on other curiosities or other things that, you know, yeah, other interests that you've been interested in and haven't been able to give yourself time to look into because you have been so intent on making something happen, making something possible. And 10 to 1, you're doing better than you think you are anyway because you'll never be doing good enough in your own eyes. There's always better there's always higher there's always something to compete against if 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 only the man in the mirror right so um there is a sense of maybe trying to find yourself be fearless and bold this is aries energy this is leo energy both of you are in reverse it it does not surprise me fire signs i feel like will be especially hit hard during this very very watery very very emotional stuck underwater for way too long you know what happens to fire right it just gets put out it's very hard to keep your your light and your passion burning in this very very emotionally heavy time this is once again a compromised sense of self looking at yourself in the mirror and being like who are you and do I still want you to be that person that I see? But do you see the blessing in that? Okay, you don't. So let me point it out to you. 
the blessing in that is this comes with a beautiful opportunity to transform yourself, to take the time to reinvent who you are, to take the time to dress a different way, um, maybe even walk or talk a different way. I don't know, but present yourself in a different way. Or like I said, in explore different interests. When you look into the mirror and aren't satisfied with yourself, as long as it's not a disruption of spirit, as in hating yourself or depression, maybe you're just curious. Maybe you're just curious, where, what if I wear my hair longer? Or, you know, what if I allow myself, what if I wake up at 7 a.m. instead of waking up at 12 noon every day, I wake up at 7 a.m. and try to become a morning person. Like, what does 7 a.m. even feel like? It's just, it's just enabling you to open yourself up to different possibilities and ways to apply yourself. It doesn't mean that you're giving up. It just means that you're frustrated right now. And maybe in your old passion, that's why it's wearing down. It's feeling boring or null, like numb to you. And that could be really frustrating you, sort of discombobulating you and making you feel like, well, I identify myself as that thing. But if I'm not that thing, who the fuck am I? That kind of conflict of self is like, I'm still me. Maybe I just have to like give myself a break. You know, it's like when you have a favorite food and you eat it every day, you're getting sick of it. It's getting dull. It's getting boring. Don't eat it every day. Give it a freaking break. And then when you come back to it, you finally crave it again. It'll be the best thing you ever tasted again. This isn't, this is almost like the universe coming in and forcing you to just chillax for a second and not push so hard. Path of least resistance. You would never do it on your own. Path of least resistance. You know, I saw something the other day that said Leos can be very, very lazy. Mm. This must be a Leo that has no passion. This must be a Leo who, who does not um, know who they are or know what their dreams are. Because Leos who do just don't ever give up on it. Um, two more cards. Use your mind wisely. This is making the impossible happen. A, you never thought that you'd feel this way. You thought, oh, this is impossible. I would, I'll never give this up. I love this too much. This is who I am. But the impossible is happening this week. It's a conflict. It's a, just, it's a juxtaposition that's intentionally coming at you to make you explore and, and understand yourself and build up dexterity to make you stronger. This isn't going to last, but please do utilize this lesson that's coming towards you, Leo, because it's not something you're going to want to miss. And it is something that once you have that ability, that skill that you're trying to be, that the universe is trying to teach you now, once you have that skill, it's going to actually help you do the impossible and be bigger and be more and make the breakthrough. Why? Because you figured something else out during this time. You figured a different way out to present yourself. You figured a different way out to uh, what you could do, a skill set you could do, an interest, and you can marry those interests with the old interests. And then be unique and stand out but you're gonna have to go through this period to learn it you're gonna do the impossible you really are you really are transform just that's kind of what the impossible is is for you deciding that the you that you are needs to be changed instead of just having overwhelming confidence in yourself you're having um a co confidence issues this week to question, to learn, to awaken. This is all with regards to an awakening. This is a becoming. This is a, uh, yeah, an, this is a becoming, an awakening, an awakening to something completely different than how you used to live or how you used to be. And then be playful. Five plus one equals six. Keep the relationship, the relationships um, um, shallow this week. Um, uh, don't take them too personally or too seriously. It's almost like maybe you were trying to dive in very deep with somebody. Um, past couple of my readings would suggest that you were. Um, it's almost safer now to just be playful. Not be necessarily shallow, but just get to know somebody at one level before you dive deep down into another level. And this is also you. Play up here in the shallows. Like you, you almost want the relief. You're grounding energy is air. It's like, please give me some relief, please. I just need to take my head above this freaking water. Uh, a little bit of, a little bit of relief this week is going to be go a long way for you. So take time out, let yourself play, let yourself explore other interests that maybe you're not so good at. 
um, but they can be more fun for you. You don't expect as much from yourself in these new things, in these things that you're just playing at, right? And that's what you need relief from is all those expectations that are actually harming your progress. Um, frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Cancerian's got this too. Must be a summer thing. It's really time for us to like shift some of our weight and get rid of that old stuff. Old stuff that you've held on to because you recognize it and identify yourself with it. Get rid of it. Stop identifying yourself with things, especially old things. It's time to clear out the clutter so you can, this is also a card of transformation, become something new or make way for something new. There's one more card. I, I know that there is one more card. I'm sorry I'm taking up your time. Hold on. And two cards popped out. I didn't want to sit here and just shuffle and waste your time. So hold on. I was like, there's one more card. I know there's one more card. And two more cards come out. Two. So in other words, it's a combined, it's a combined message still in the position of your grounding energy. Let it shine, feeling like you're not heard and let spirit be your guide. This is almost like being hung up, almost like the hangman energy, feeling like you're stuck and not heard. And that is your grounding energy, why? Because um, because you need to get off your feet. I know that sounds like the foolest like answer I could give you, but that really is what it is because you need to get off your feet. You need to, the, the answer and the solution this week is to be lighter, like take the weight off, lighten yourself up, lighten your load, let go. That's why, that's why. If you feel like you're being ignored, ignored, or you feel like you're being um, silenced, it's just because we need you to stop yelling and shouting and screaming and overworking, you're producing too much, stop, take a freaking second. And now clear out some of that stuff that you've been accumulating because it's not getting you anywhere or helping you in any way that's productive. This is your grounding energy. Lighten your load this week. It's a different perspective that we're seeking. That's what we're seeking this week. Hold on, let me review the cards with you. And there you go. These are the two cards that popped out, really feeling like you're like tied up and silenced and muted. Why? Because you're underwater. You're covered with Piscean water and it's really making you feel like you're drowning. And it's funny, how do you feel like there isn't enough in a time when you're flooded? Why? Because water isn't your sign. You know, that's why. Because it floods you. You need fuel. You need fire. You need to burn but the water has put that out, it's, not, it's, it's smothered you. And that's why it's like, get, get rid of all the weight that you can this week. You know, especially when it comes to things that make you feel too emotional. And in terms of relationships, make sure that you just don't lay the heavy on, don't come out with the heavy. You know, maybe, maybe there might be something of like being nervous, not really wanting to let somebody know how you feel about them or presenting a gift to them and not knowing how to make that gift be something that is um, just construed as friendship because deep in your heart, it really isn't friendship, but you're trying to keep it light, but yet it isn't light and really not knowing the words to say or being able to find the words to say or feeling like maybe this person might take it the wrong way or even if they take it the right way that they might not return your feelings. In other words, Leo, you are feeling an uncommon, an uncommon feeling, and that is insecurity. And that is so that you gain a different perspective on life. And remember it, lessons learned this week will help you transform into that quality 
that gets you the attention that you really crave, which is something that it's just something that a piece of the puzzle that you were missing that you will, you can earn like at the end of the video game, you can earn it at the end of this week. If you just allow yourself to relax. Hold on. Let me go into a deeper reading. I want to. I want to. I want to go a little bit deeper into this understanding of it. I'm going to go into the extended now. The link is in below and in the description box below and in the comment section. And of course, you're also going to get a romance reading as well. I will see you guys over there. <laughs> 